Well, hey everyone, John here with another weekly update for you. Thanks to everyone who came out last Saturday evening and who participated in the fundraiser that the Voyagers class put on for us. It was geared toward helping David and Ruby Schwartz and Trouba with their adoption costs. They've walked through some real hiccups and some trouble um, in this adoption process due to unforeseen circumstances and things out of their control. And so it's been really awesome to see our church family surround them, come alongside them, and bless them. I'm happy to report that the fundraiser this weekend raised nearly $6,000 to help offset those adoption costs. If you missed out on that and still want to bless them, please write a check, make it out to MCA and earmark it Adoption Fund, and every cent will go toward helping them with those costs. Coming up on October 31st, Go Serve Day. We're going to get into the community and bless others. So we can take as many volunteers as sign up for this. Uh, Nick shared with me that we had maybe four or five people sign up on Sunday, and we're really looking to have at least 12 or 15 to accomplish the projects that we've got, uh, to accomplish the projects that we have committed to, uh, which you know, the, the technical word for when you can't remember a word is, uh, um, anyway, we are going to be serving our community and want your help. We're looking for a few more volunteers, several more volunteers. Sign up this coming Sunday in the foyer. You know, our church council is staying vigilant and diligent in our COVID response. We're monitoring the situation. We're continuing to walk forward using health and safety measures that we think are appropriate. And so just a reminder, if you're feeling sick, please stay home. You can always tune in online to our worship services and be a part of what God is doing that way. We are sanitizing our building to keep it as safe as possible. We're encouraging social distancing. We've got little red circles for use in our worship services that you can designate as, as, um, as social distancing space for you and your family. You can put those on a few seats around you to keep those free. And then we are doing a live feed into the Lamplighter Room. This is happening at both the 8.30 and the 11 o'clock service. And so Lamplighter Room is available as a live feed on the television is going in there and you can participate in the worship service that way. I want to encourage us today from Psalm 46. It says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, the Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. So let's stay vigilant, my friends. Let's stay unified as we pursue our mission of sharing the life-giving power of Jesus with the world. Thank you and God bless you. 